Well, hey y'all, it is time for another vintage appetizer. And this is for the NCAA um, Sweet 16 uh, game thing for tonight. But what this is gonna be is a bourbon hot dogs. And I was gonna do uh, chicken wings and blue cheese dressing, but I got my little Hallmark daily calendar out. And today, the 24th of March is cocktail day. So I thought we might as well make cocktail weenies. Now this is a recipe that my mother made back in, in the 70s when I was in, in high school. And let me, let me, I wrote this down when I was in high school. Y'all, I can't even hardly read my writing. It's just faded. But it's one to three packages of weenies. And I just, I've got one package of Nathan and then I've got one package of uh, some uh, Oscar Mayer. So just whatever you want to use. Let me get this out of my way where it gets on the floor. Three quarters of a cup of whiskey, a half a cup of, one and a half cups of ketchup, a half a cup of water, a half a cup of light brown sugar, two tablespoons of minced onion. Okay, now I'm gonna, I've gotta get my onion here in just a second, but I have my uh, three quarters of a cup of whiskey, and this is bottled locally in, in Newport, Arkansas. So shout out to our local people. And let me get a little bit of water here while I'm standing here gabbing. This is also the bourbon that I used whenever we made our our, um, our vanilla a couple months ago. And look how they're, this is the vodka and this is the bourbon. Look how they're, they're turning and uh, just making me happy. Not ready to use yet, but they will be. And I have a, half, a cup and a half of ketchup. Now you could use Little Smokies. And Mother probably would have if they had made them back then, but they didn't make Little Smokies back in the day. So she just used regular old hot dog wings. So here goes the half a cup. And then we're gonna use a fourth a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Half a cup light brown sugar. So that is what is in this, this dish. It is a half a cup of regular white sugar. And I added enough uh, sorghum molasses to make it into brown sugar. And you can just add it into, to your heart's content. Um, you can make it very light or you could add more and, and use more uh, molasses and it'll make it darker. Okay, let's see, I've got that and that. Okay, so I'm gonna put my, my weenies in here. I got in trouble when I was a senior, y'all. We had a potluck at high school and uh, I took this and the, the principal found out I, I brought it and he got running down the hall crazy like a, like a crazy person. But after he got a flavor of them and said they was good, and I told him that the, the, the bourbon cooked out of it, it will do that at 172, cooks all the, the alcohol out of it. Then you're just left with the flavor. Okay, and that is it. And I'm going to turn this on high for two hours, or you could put it on, uh, let's say I wanna do it on high for, I think I'm gonna do it for four hours on high. But I'm gonna walk by and stir it and everything and it'll be fine. And I'm gonna put some onion uh, in here, just um, probably a teaspoon of onion powder. I'll put that in here. But I'll do that whenever y'all, uh, y'all don't have to stand there and watch me do that. We're, go try to find it. I wanna tell you that in the top, whenever I write the ingredients down for this, I will add the grape jelly version. And this is uh, the grape jelly version. They do say to use two packages of the little smoky. So, you know, this is a newer recipe a 16 ounce container of grape jelly and a 12 ounce container of chili sauce. It's just three things. And you mix all that together, put it in your crock pot. You can put this in the oven at 275 and, and for a couple hours and it'll, it'll still be good. But the longer it cooks and the longer it sets, the better it is. And tomorrow this will be even better. So as you eat the weenies out of it, you can just throw some more in there or you could do kielbasa, uh, turkey kielbasa, whatever kind of kielbasa you like. Alrighty, there it is. I'm gonna put the lid on it. And I'll tell you about these ball games. There's four of them tonight. These are all central times. I'm gonna try to get this posted uh, before the ball games, but Arkansas and Gonzola, Gonzaga, yay, hogs, 609 tonight. 
Michigan and Villanova, 629 tonight. Texas Tech and Duke, 839. And Houston and Arizona, 859. So, I think I know where to find my husband about when the Razorbacks come on. So, I'm going to get this plugged in. I'm going to put the onion in it. And then we'll get back together after a while whenever it gets ready. And then we'll uh, get us food picking. We'll get us a bite. So, see y'all back in a little bit. Okay, y'all. They've been cooking for about five hours. And after about three, I turned it on low. And I've been stirring it. And it's getting thicker. And it just smells so good. And there is no um, exact science to the length that you cook this. It's all cooked. You just, you want to cook it long enough. You know, alcohol will burn off at 172. Um, if, the, if that's important to you, you know, let's just, let's just get your thumb, 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 thumb. I can't talk to y'all. I need a, what is it they call that? A blooper reel. That's what they call that. <laughs> but anyway, I've got, I've cut us up just a little bit of celery. I defrosted some strawberries to make some strawberry shortcake because we're anticipating a win by the Razorbacks, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. So we get just a few of these and these are hot. It smells like, it smells like memories because this was just one of those fun little things that you would have on the, on the stove when you had a party or something. So, you see this little toothpick one. Pick one up. I, I got two. Hang on a minute. Hang, hang on. Mm-hmm. They're a little sweet. They're a little tangy. I don't really taste the bourbon. I just get the flavors that it leaves there. So, anyway, we're going to go watch the ball game. comes on in about 45 minutes. So, if your team is playing, I hope they do well. And hope everybody has a has a, a safe weekend and y'all going to do something fun.